hello guys so in this video we are going to see this particular problem count collision on road so let's understand this particular problem is uh, the, the statements was a bit tricky so let's first understand what this actually mean and then we are going to see the solution so what the question says is you are given n cars on an infinitely long road and each car is number from 0 to n minus 1 and from left to right and each car is present at a unique point okay so this is understandable what it is saying is you are given a zero index string directions okay directions is given uh, with l n r and s okay l r s can be there l means left and r means right and s means staying at the current position okay and each car is moving the same speed okay it means that if two of them are moving on the uh, right side or they are moving on the left side they won't collide because they are moving the same speed the number of collisions can be calculated as follow when two cars in opposite direction so this is coming in this direction this is coming in this direction if they collide the number of collisions will be two if suppose one is stationary and another one is coming and colliding from this direction or this direction then we have to do plus one so that is being said here after a collision the car involved can go no longer and move can no longer move and will stay at the point where they collided so basically if two cars are coming suppose this direction or this direction if they collide they will remain here and they will stop they will they won't move Otherwise, suppose this is stationary, this is the coming from this direction, it will collide with this and they will remain as it is. That is what I think. Other than that, like uh, uh, when they are colliding, their state are changing, right? Like they were initially moving and then they are stopping or like, uh, uh, you see, the direction of motion cannot change. Okay. That is what basically they are saying. So, uh, let, let's understand this with the example, uh, how we can proceed. We have to just calculate the number of collisions that will happen. And apart from that, like th that is the answer that we have. So let's see. Suppose uh, the car that we are considering, or what we are going to do is suppose we are going to take this particular example R L R S L L. So what we are going to do, we are going to go each uh, car one by one, and we'll see okay what is if the collision can occur, if the collision cannot occur. So uh, for each of the case, we have uh, for each of the uh, car we have three cases. Okay. Suppose the car is coming, uh, the current car that we are considering is the one moving towards left. Now, before this uh, thing, suppose the previous cars were moving to the left, so there will be no collision. Suppose the uh, previous car was moving towards right, so there will be a collision and we do plus two, okay. If it is stationary, the previous one, then we are also going to collide again because it is stationary and moving, uh, the previous one is stationary and we are coming from this direction, so we are going to collide this. So if the left is the case, we have three cases, either it is right or left or else like stationary one. So in that case, what we are going to do, we'll see. Similarly, if you see for right one, okay, let me write here only. If we check for the uh, car that is moving towards right, so suppose the previous one is moving towards left, so there won't be any collision because one is moving towards right, one is moving towards uh, right, and one is moving towards left. The other one suppose is moving towards right, then also the previous one, then also there won't be any collision because both of them are moving in the same direction with the same speed, so no collision. Suppose the previous one is stationary, then also there won't be any collision. So what we are going to do is we are simply uh, like there won't be any collision. So in all these three cases, if the current car is moving towards the right, there won't be any collision. So if we see this particular uh, case here for the R1. So when the current car that we are considering is R that is moving towards the right, then we are simply going to push that particular uh, uh, R to the stack. We are not going to do anything else because there won't be any collision. Okay. So this is basically uh, what I wanted to say. So R1 is complete. Now uh, let's see for S. So if the current car is stationary, then suppose the previous one was moving towards left. So there won't be any collision because this is stationary. The car is moving away. So there won't be any collision. Okay. Suppose the uh, car is moving towards right. So then there will be a collision and we'll do plus one. If this car that is our previous one uh, is stationary, then there won't be any collision, right? Now let's understand this stationary one condition first. Okay, so we have first this L and then we have this R then we have this other stationary. So first understand the stationary one condition and then we are going to uh, see others. Okay, so let me expand this. Okay. So uh, if you see here, I have written a while statement here. Okay, why I'm writing a while statement? For example, take this case. Suppose this uh, was moving initially R, then there was again R, then there was again R, then S came. So the string is something like this R, 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 S. If that is the case, 
so initially until this particular point all of them were moving on right direction with the same speed so no collision but as soon as this s came what will happen this will collide with this one and it will uh, like stop moving and will stay at that particular position that is what it is said in the last line so when as when this particular third one going to collide with the uh, uh, stationary one it will stop there but the second and the first one they are still moving so what will happen the second one come and collide with this again okay so now second third second third and stationary now this first one will come and collide with this again so now all of them will come stationary got my point right so if the uh, like the current one is stationary and the peak of the uh, stack is r that is the car moving in the right direction we have to uh, take that uh, consider take that into consideration and if you'll see this particular code we will do collide plus plus and we'll pop that particular uh, one from the card okay this is popped out that is we have to consider the next one whether it is right or not if it is right we have to again pop that one we again right then pop that one so that is what we are going to do so uh, we are popping this because suppose uh, the l came here okay after this l came so this stationary will be there okay so once the stationary will be there we are going to calculate uh, this one and we are not considering these things okay we are not concerned about these things so we are simply popping them out now what we have to do is this was the condition for s so once every r is removed after that what we have we are simply going to push this s into the stack so that is our like the previous one so this is basically uh, what we have for uh, s condition okay now if we see uh, for this l condition so for l condition what we are going to do is uh, let me minimize this and let me expand this so for the l condition what we are going to do similarly for r uh, sorry similarly as for s if suppose the uh, string is r r r l so what will happen initially all of them are moving in the right direction so no collision but once left comes these two are going to collide and we'll do plus two so that is what we are doing initially when they are colliding plus two then we are popping this thing out then after that whatever is remaining they are going to again collide because after these two will become stationary after collision and these things are going to collide to the stationary ones right so plus one for each of them so that is what we that is what we are doing we are colliding first so plus two then they became stationary then for each right that we have at the top of the stack we are doing collide plus one so once they are complete what uh, like all of them will become stationary so it means that at the top of the stack we should put the stationary one and not the left one because left one collided with right one and we have put it stationary so we have put it stationary at the end if the top one initially came out to be r okay if if it had been something like this l l r l it would be like uh, l l then these two become uh, like collided and become stationary so this will be our stack uh, this will be like, uh, like our stack will look like l l s okay so let's see the other condition when the top of the stack is coming out to be left so initially the top of the stack is coming out to be left and we are coming also to left so what we there, there will be no collision we will simply add it to the stack okay but suppose the uh, previous one or the top of the stack is stationary and we are coming from the left what we are doing we are simply going to collide and that is why we are doing plus one and after collision will become stationary so that is why we have added s okay so uh, that's that's basically all and that sums up uh, i think everything let me run that try run that for a particular example this r l s l l okay so initially on the top of the stack we have r now when l came so suppose r is there okay r car is there moving towards right l came it is going to collide so when it is collided with r we will do plus 2 okay so if the collide is equals to 2 and then we are going to pop this okay this is removed we'll see further if there is any other r on the left side or not here it is not so what we are going to do is we are simply going to go out of that particular while loop and we are going to push s because once they have collided they have become stationary so now uh, if you see the top of the stack our top of the stack is just a car which is stationary okay so if you see now our the top of the stack is car after uh, after this particular point if it is stationary because they have collided okay now again s came so when s came no further uh, like uh, collision is there so s is there when this left came so what will happen is they uh, they uh, okay there is again an r as well so uh, when this r came sorry when this r came 
it will collide with the stationary one okay so once you collide with the stationary one so r came uh, r is coming uh, where it is the current character is r it is not going to collide it is moving in this direction so it is not going to collide and uh, there would be anything but when this uh, s again will come so when s will come it is going to collide r is going to collide so when r is going to collide we'll do plus one and then uh, this will become stationary so what uh, is so we have everything stationary here now when l came it will again collide with this stationary one okay this l came it will collide with the stationary one and it will become uh, stationary okay so for one for that particular collision and then this last one will come and it will collide with this stationary one and that will become again stationary so total five collisions will be there and this is our answer okay so this is basically what the code is let me try to submit this and let's see what happens okay okay so the code got submitted the time complexities and the space complexity are not that good but the code is accepted okay and this is kind of much more intuitive so yeah you can get the code in the description of the video and if you have any doubt do mention in the comment section i'll try to answer those as much as i can so yeah thank you